By the end of this video, you're going to know the three most commonly used techniques I use as a professional video editor to customize stock music so that it perfectly times up to whatever film or video I'm working on as if it was custom made for that project. And by the time this video posts, we might hit 100,000 subscribers, which is completely crazy. Couldn't have come at better timing too, because on the day this video posts, I'm going to be on a plane going to Hawaii as a research trip for a feature film script I wrote. Before I did the second draft, I wanted to actually have been to Hawaii where the entire movie takes place. Very excited. It will be a great tax deductible way to also celebrate this milestone. Maybe I'll make a video out there, no promises, we'll see. The project we're going to be doing this in is this old YouTube video I did back when I went to New York about locations. This is just a good video to use because it has talking, has B-roll. Now I've taken out the crappy old music that I had in this project, we're gonna start fresh and the best place to do that is with the sponsor of this video, Artlist.io. Been using them for years for my own stock music as an editor, for my own film, they just have the best library of stock music. It doesn't sound like stock music, which is so common with a lot of these libraries. And they're constantly adding new tracks every week. There's new music in here. So it's just a really vast library. You can search by mood. For this one, I want it to be kind of carefree, groovy, and peaceful. And if I wanted to exclude something, for example, I don't want it to be angry. I could do that. Let's see what we got with our carefree, groovy, peaceful, and not angry music here. Coconut Fantasies. No. This one's kind of cool. Let's skip ahead a little. It's pretty good. So if I want to download it, you can download it straight from the search results here. I usually go with a wave because it's just easier in post-production. Download. And if you're interested in Artlist, check out the link in my description. You'll get two months free on an annual plan. If you're doing freelance work as an editor, you're probably gonna want the unlimited plan, which is gonna give you the rights to use the music pretty much anywhere you want to with no attribution or anything like that. Thank you, Artlist, for sponsoring this video. Now let's show how to use their music to the best effect for some custom timed stock music. Here we go. I'll import this track into the video. Let's play it. Okay. Cool. So I like this intro. Let's just uh, set an out point there. I'll drag it in here. And it actually, well, right off the bat, usually you gotta make it quieter, so I'll drop it about 12 decibels. Let's say I lay this down. This is pretty good, but the beat drops right here. Just to see if I can not get my... And we don't want that just in the middle of a sentence. That's no good. We want that to drop, ooh, let's say, right when I finish talking maybe, and I grab the, the phone here. So let's drag it out and just line that up. Just to see if I can not get my phone stolen doing cool intros like this. Yes, that's what we want, right? If you're maximizing your... Feels like it's timed out to the video. So what I normally do is kind of start with where I want those beat hits to really make an impact in the edit. For example, right here, it's gonna be right when I stop talking and I go into a little bit of B-roll. So we got the beat dropping where we want, but look at the beginning. We've got no music here and we need music there. So what are we going to do? Well, I think the best way to handle this one is with a technique called looping. This is something I do all the time. What we're going to do is just take like a bar from the track and duplicate it, you know, just copy and paste it next to each other, blend them a little bit so it sounds like a seamless loop of this part of the song. So this is what that might look like. There's a beat. And then there's a beat, right? Sounds just like the beginning of the track, right? Well, let's take advantage of that. So if I drag this to the beginning, I can hold Option or Alt if you're on a PC, click and drag, that's gonna automatically duplicate the clip. And I'll just bring it out here and let's put it at the end of the clip, right where that next beat was gonna hit. And let's see if we got a good loop here. There it is, seamless. But now we got other problems, right? I solved one problem, but I created another one. So this is kind of how it goes. It's a give and take process. So we want this beat to hit here and we're gonna, I'll be damned if we're not gonna get that beat to hit there. So let's see what we can do. First of all, let's hear what I'm talking about in the video. Maybe that'll give us some ideas. Have you ever seen a movie where the location, <laughs> the other goal of this video is to see if I can not get my phone stolen doing cool intros like this. Okay, so from listening to what I'm saying in that A-roll, I think I have the best solution to time up this music. It's a very easy solution. Basically, it's a sound up or a drop in the music, in this case, really, 
And if you're editing a montage and you're having a bunch of B-roll and the music is carrying you through it, there might be a time where you wanna break the pace of that music. And that's done for a lot of reasons. It can be done for pacing. It can be done to switch to a different track. Or like in this case, it can be done for timing the music exactly the way you want it to. And basically what you're doing is looking for an opportunity to completely drop out that music track so that you can purely focus on the A roll and make some kind of point with whatever the subject in your video is talking about. And then you bring back the music just in time to hit that beat that you want to hit. What, what was that? I'm Billy, I live in Unit 6. Are you the one who left that anonymous letter about me turning down my music? No. We're basically just gonna drop out the music and all I'm gonna do is take this first loop that we did and I'm gonna drag it all the way over. I'm in New York. You I'm just gonna tell. let it play. Flat iron building. The other goal of this video. So the other goal of this video is to not get my phone stolen. That's a little silly line, but I take a little dramatic beat before I say it and there's a little dramatic beat in the song right here too. So let's take advantage. If I hit P, I get the pen tool. I can drop the music down right here and then drop it down here as well. This video is to see if I can not get my phone stolen doing cool intros like this. And you see how that works? It's already working pretty well, but we're gonna make it even better. I'm gonna make a cut there and I'll tell you why later. And I'm just gonna do a little cross dissolve. Speaking of cross dissolves, one thing I should have said, if you're looping, this happened to be an incredibly easy loop, maybe not even the best example. This is the beginning of this audio track right here, the very first frame. It's generally not great to loop on that because you might get a weird little subtle difference in the track, right? What I'd try to do is push it maybe a frame over, let the earlier part of the loop, get a frame over, and then do a little cross dissolve right there. Just Command Shift D if you're on a Mac, and make it really short. It's just gonna make sure there's no weird pops in the audio, and generally it gives you a more seamless loop when you put a little cross dissolve. Let's get back to this music dropping out moment here, and we're actually gonna make this work even better with the third technique I use all the time, which is a ring out. Ring outs are just my bread and butter these days. All you do, is use your pen tool, right? Hit P, drop down these keyframes to pure silence, and then your last beat, you just add a little reverb effect to it. So if we go to effects, I've already got it up. Studio reverb, you know I keep that thing on me. It's going down. You can't hear it yet, but we're gonna fix that. So let's go to Great Hall, that's a great default reverb where you're gonna get that effect felt. Let's bring the decay up. That's gonna make it reverb longer. Let's bring the diffusion down. That's also gonna make it reverb longer. Let's bring the wet up. That's how much of the clip is getting the effect applied to it. Let's bring the dry up. That's how much of the clip gets the original audio. Let's bring the low frequency cut down, the high frequency cut up. That just means more of the wavelength of the audio is going to have the effect applied to it. Basically, we're just trying to get a big fat reverb. So also drag this over. That means the longer this clip is, the more that thing has room to ring out. And we'll do a little cross dissolve here and let's see what that does for us. Ooh, love it. Let's hear that, hear that little ring out. All right, so that's not bad, but let's help it out a little bit. Let's put a keyframe here and then let's make it louder. So it goes into a loud note and rings out even louder. And you know what, let's bring this a little earlier and let's make this longer. Other goal of this video is to see if I can not get my phone stolen doing cool intros like this. There it is. And that is a ring out and a loop and a sound up. So those are kind of the three techniques I use the most often to manipulate the timing of music. Generally, you never want to let the stock music dictate the rhythm of your entire edit. You wanna do your story edit first, right? The story's the most important thing, and then you make your music fit your story. All right, that's it. I'll see you all next week. Thanks so much for watching. Hope we hit 100,000. We'll find out. Maybe I'll do a little 100,000 video. That'll be fun, right? And you know, once I get that black, I'm never making another video. You'll never see me again. Cause I only did this for the hardware. So once I get that trophy, adios. Oh, check out my Patreon too. Extra video every single week, only 10 bucks a month. Come on, if you like this, imagine that times four and you're supporting the channel. All right, I gotta stop talking, bye.